G'day Cats fans, uh, welcome to the, the fourth instalment of Stewie Checks In this week. I am very honoured to be joined by the fiery redhead, Gary Rowan. How are you brother? Um, how is uh, the family? How, how's the little bub? How's Sadie going? Yeah, no, she's good. Um, she's a good kid. All she does is feed and sleep, so which is, which is good. <laughs> but uh, Bella, the, yeah. yeah, terrible twos I call it. She's just a pocket rocket at the moment. How do I flip this around? Here we go. So, I've uh, even got the plumbing pants on, look at that. Yeah, oh, I've been working hard. <laughs> Good on you. That's what kids do, mate. <laughs> and then, yeah, this is the... Oh, look at that. <laughs> Wor- worst Christmas present I've ever done. Give her oh, a kitchen. Oh, that's, that's brilliant. Oh, that's, that's why you just you just close this. So you <laughs> so, it. Probably my favourite place where I go during the day is on this thing. Ah, the couch. Ah, the yeah. The couch. The PlayStation, PlayStation yeah. And the other one, the other love of your life, Boris. How is the big fella? Is he, is he still getting some attention or has he been uh, put to the side with the two two girls in the house now? Nah, he is my number one, Boris. He's, uh, <laughs> so this is Boris. He's sitting up there already posing. <laughs> oh, Such a big fella. Hey, big boss. Yeah, no, he's, he's a legend. He's, he's a good looking beagle, isn't he? He is. I got him in Sydney and, uh, oh, how old are you now? Six. I think he's six now. So, He's uh he's got me through a lot this bloke, and um, yeah, yeah, absolutely love him. Now you talk about doing some plumbing today. What other projects you've been up to in ISO? Any any other little things you've kept your mind occupied with? I built a shed. I've concreted, so I've put that on. Yeah, a bit of landscaping in the backyard. Trying to keep that lawn up to scratch so you can get in the lawn society, mate. Yeah, man, I've been trying so hard, <laughs> trying to get in there, but they won't let me in. <laughs> Physically, as athletes, we need to keep ourselves in check, but um, obviously the mental health side of it as well. For, for those that are listening, how have you been focusing on that? And, and that's obviously a priority of yours. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I've just been talking to uh, mates all the time and catching in with you boys. Uh, Get ready for some hard-hitting questions, mate. Already, are. Who is your favourite player at the Geelong Football Club to play golf with? Um, probably Luke Dalhouse, because I'm better than him at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> good answer. Good answer. I'll play, with, uh, I'll play with you. I'll play with you, but you're too good for me still. Mate, there's too many. There's way too many good golfers at our footy club. It's a joke. Yeah. Dream fishing trip? Where would you love to go on a fishing trip? We know you love your fishing. You're great outdoors. Yeah, I love it. Um, probably go over to Perth, um, over to the islands over there. Uh, what is your fondest footy memory? AFL or back in the days at Cobham? What's your favourite memory about footy? Um, yeah, probably, oh, probably back home in Cobham. Um, Playing junior footy with my brother is probably the best memory, footy memory I've ever had. Uh, who is your favourite footy player, past or present? Um, I idolised Andrew Mackie growing up, so I'd probably say him. Mac? Yeah, I, Ooh, at Cobden I played. Spindle I played shakes Mackie. <laughs> I played <laughs> similar role to him on the, at Cobden and then um, it was weird because my first, my first game, AFL game, was against Geelong at Geelong and uh, I was supposed to start on the bench and then Paul Roos goes, mate, you're on. And the first bloke to come over to me was Mackie, so my first ever game was against uh, pretty much my idol. Who is your favourite band or singer? Um, geez, well, I'm a country fan, so I was like all country music. Don't have a favourite right. at the moment. Um, how's the TikTok career coming along? You've been a bit quiet the last few, <laughs> so you've got anything in store for us. I'm sure all the, all the fans are, are waiting eagerly to see your next installment of your TikTok, so how's, how's the uh, career coming? Um, I've been looking, but I'm not sure which one to put on. <laughs> I can't really dance, so I've got two left feet. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure about a dancing one, but uh, yeah, I'm still finding. Unless people have an idea, just send them through. There you go, Cats fans. Send them through. Put them in the comment section. Um, yeah, mate, you and Cam Tahini, you've been hilarious through these old <laughs> period. You, you get all the boys up. So, I think you should, I think we're due for a new one. Well, that's it. Well, that's all I've got for you, mate. It was a, a good chat and... Um, Good to see you smiling and having a lot of fun with your family back home. So hopefully we'll be out of this ISO soon and we'll have a kick and have a laugh and play some cards together. Yep, sounds good, definitely. All right, see you, brother. Thanks, mate. All right, guys, thanks for watching another installment of, of my check-ins. All um, well, thanks to Ford. Um, we really appreciate their their support through this tough time and um, just to implore you guys all to, to keep checking in with your friends, your family and, and all your loved ones. Um, it's as simple as we said, it's a FaceTime or a phone call, but it is really important for this time that we stick together and we uh, we keep each other sane, I suppose, and, and keep ourselves smiling and having a good laugh. So uh, I'll see you all next week. Thanks for tuning in.